What's up, guys? Hey, man here. Wake up! To the Diablo Resurrected Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Dak. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like the video if you will. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page. And hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So, what I'm fixing to do in this video is lay some speculation to rest. Uh -huh. Some of you guys in the comments have been mentioning how if I max Holy Fire with a Dragon Din, Aura Din, Fire Din, that it will... I'm almost positive it's not going to stack with the On Gear Aura. Because right now, I have like a level 44 On Gear Aura. From Hand of Justice with 16 Holy Fire. From Dragon with 14 Holy Fire. And Dragon, 14 Holy Fire. So is that about a level 44? I think is what it is. We're going to say it's level 44. Without doing the math and shit, let me know in the comments below. So I max the synergies, of course, for Holy Fire. I max out Resist Fire. I maxed out Salvation. And what I did in previous videos is I didn't even touch Holy Fire itself. But what if you do max Holy Fire? And you have it right here. And then there's the damage that it does per tick. 745 to 1700. Which isn't a lot. But at least it'll add to the general fire damage that you're doing to enemies around you. Now the downside is that you can't have Conviction Aura on, which traditionally is how this build operates. You max out Conviction, and it then has a negative 150% pierce to enemy fire res. And it breaks some immunities as well. Some fire immunities, that is. It breaks most lightning immunities, but it breaks some fire immunities. But of course, that's where the Sunder Charm comes in. Flame Rift, where it first breaks it. But I don't have Conviction now on this guy. I have Holy Fire instead. My Mercenary has Conviction from a, an Infinity Runeward. Only a level 12 at that. So instead of negative 150, it's like a negative 85 or something like that. So, let's see how well it fares. Oh my god. I heard death. Around me. Oh my god. Holy shit. This might be the way. Oh my god. It killed a champion. In one strike. Oh! Oh my god, are you kidding me? These guys don't even have the thing applied to them. They don't even have, uh, infinity. Look at this, they're dying without even, they died without even the damn aura. Holy freaking toad. Uh, oh my god, Wh what happens? Look at this, it kills them in one damn hit. What happens if you get rid of the holy fire on your, um, on your right click there, your right mouse, and you're just utilizing the holy fire from your gear? Oh my god. It did not kill them all in one hit. But then again, I wasn't uh, all that close to them. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. It even killed those guys. And they're, uh, they're fire immune. Uh, innately. I'm having a hard time deciphering if this is even doing shit. When I add it, Uh, I sub oh my god. Look at this. Look how destructive it is. I mean, am I better doing this or am I better using a conviction? Like, the conviction from my mercenary is not even reaching them. 
I'm just getting to him too fast. Alright. Further research needed. So, what I think I'm going to do... Let's go to the Frigid Highlands. Jeez, this is cray cray. In fact, here, I'm going to do two runs. Two Frigid runs. Here's with the aura on right click, alright? Couple of hits. Four. They were basically all dead in four hits. Four ticks. And my mercenary's conviction wasn't even on them the whole time. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at this. Okay. So you saw that. So now... Let me do the same thing, only I'm not going to have the Holy Fire on. Alright, I'm just going to be utilizing the Holy Fire from the gear. Alright, so here we do B. Two. Three. Four. Why does it seem like it's the same damn thing? I mean... What the freaking toad? One. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Further research needed! Okay, so I suppose... Do we need to up the player count? Do I dare? I have not done this in the research institution regarding the Dragon Den Paladin. I was too afraid, I must admit. It was only fear that stopped me. Uh, I suppose I'm going to bring it up to Player's 8. As much as I don't want to do this. Okay, Player's 8. So the following games will be Player's 8 until I change it. And I'm going to try... Uh, without Holy Fire. On skill, alright? So let's check that Let's see how it does. So here we are, Player's 8. Two. Oh my god. Three. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Four. Five. He's still alive. Six. Seven. Eight. Are they even chicken? What the heck? Ooh. Oh my god. Look at this. Okay, so there's, uh, there's IK Mall. Let's see if it's 40. Yep! No, it's not. Pike sucks. Okay. He's gonna get his little tail swatted, unfortunately. Jeez! Oh my god, gonna die! Alright, so you saw that. Now let me do it again with the aura on the right click. Let's see if it adds any more damage. So, here now I have Holy Fire on the right click. Hold on a second. Zeal damage, 7,294. With it on the right click. Now, without it... Oh my god! It's the same! Alright, I think we just figured a little something-something out right there. It seems as though it actually is not active. Because you should get, if, if, if you're assuming both auras are active at once, your on gear auras as well as the right click aura here from your uh, innate skills, then of course you would be benefiting from the plus 5,000 to your attack fire damage that you get from having this skill on. But you're not. See? Even if you say go uh, down here or something. See that? It's the same damage. But for research purposes, let's try it anyway. But yeah, it, it looks like it's been nearly settled. Why is Because it should be adding to my attack if it were working. Uh, the added bonus from your uh, your innate skill, but it, it doesn't seem to be doing so for whatever reason. 
It has been neg Oh my god. It seems like it's not... I mean, it, from what we can tell from the weapon damage, it's not working. But let me know what you guys think. And aside from that, legend has it... No, this is a separate thing. That when you have Hand of Justice, Dragon, and Dragon, of course, each of which have their own Holy Fire aura, they, of course, do stack. So you have a level 44. But in addition to that, legend has it that there's a sort of glitch where... Accumulatively, it is a level 44 Holy Fire Aura. However, in addition to that, where the glitch takes place, is that it ticks three times as frequently. Or twice as frequently, or whatever. It doesn't just tick once, it ticks two, it ticks three times instead of one time uh, per tick, or some shit like that, alright? You guys heard it here first. Now, I know some of you guys didn't actually hear it here first, but... But that's the, uh... That's kind of the... The rough draft of what the fuck's going on here. Alright, so I'm curious what you guys have to say about that. I know some of you guys have pointed that out in the comments, and I think that you might be onto something. Because I have tested with a... Close to 44 Holy Fire Aura on my Paladin. With no Hand of Justice, no Dragon. And I just maxed out the synergies. And for whatever reason... It wasn't just ass compared to the 44 aura you get from the gear. It was complete ass. So it, it wasn't justified how horrible it was if, say, it were just simply a holy fire aura that was, say, two or three skill level points behind the level 44 you'd get from your, uh, your gear. All right, so it seems from my experimenting that it must tick more or some shit. Or maybe it still ticks once, but those ticks are added, uh, they act as if they were three ticks in one tick, you know what I'm saying? And I think, uh, that's what's going on here. So, let me fetch that body. Let me go back to Player's One, because that's how I like it. And I'm gonna max out Conviction, just to do it right. And let's just see how well it fares with Conviction now. Welcome back to the Research Institution. So, it is on players one now. Ooh. Made an oopsie. So, I'm going to max out... Conviction. Oh, dumbass! Dumb toad, you dumb toad. My bad. Uh, let me respect. And I'm going to max out Conviction instead of Holy Fire. Alright, so now, I maxed out Conviction. And here's my zeal damage. 7,321. And I don't have Holy Fire on now. And yeah, my mercenary has conviction as well. Uh, and on that note, let's get rid of that. And maybe put something else on him. I suppose we'll put on the Reaper's Toad. Unless if I have an insight. Uh, looks like I don't. Okay, so nice conviction now. Two. Three. Three hits, they're all dead. One. Two. Oh my god! Two hits! Bloody murder! <clears throat> Alright, so let me try now. I just love going to the cold plains. I love it when I can just run around and shit just dies all around me. So, let's see how well it does now compared to um, when I first started this video. Oh my god! They didn't even touch the damn screen half of them! Look at that! Oh my god! Shit! Look at that. Where did that even come from? Just popped on my ass. Gee whiz. Here we go. Champions on jet. I mean, it doesn't seem all that much better. What's my pierce on this guy? Negative 35 to enemy fire res, not counting the maxed out conviction of negative 150%. Now, I believe that the fire immunes are broken then by your Sunder. Uh, your conviction is only one-fifth effectiveness. So you have to factor that in here. Oh my god! This is just hideous. I've never seen anything like it. Does it suck in the Cast Sanctuary? Is the real question to be asked here. You do have a lot of fire immunes. 
So let's see. I, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go quick. So be ready. I'm gonna go quick. All right. Don't be surprised when I finish. Come on, buddy. What the? F don't be surprised. Don't be surprised, sweetheart. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was amazing. Now here's some innate fire means. Oh my god. Nacho Libre. It's uh, gotta be like two ticks. I can't. Shit. What is this? Nice. Style points. So, it's fair to be noted that these offensive ROGCs are completely useless right now uh, in terms of my damage output from the Fire Aura. Because you could say, well, they help Conviction, but no, they don't even help Conviction when it comes to their 150 damage bonus. It only helps uh, in terms of its uh, defense pierce, I think. 13.3 yards. I think the yards are the same. 94 defense pierce. Let's see what it's at now. 90. Oh my god, that is hideous. Uh, you barely gain any difference, Pierce, from that. So, yeah, those charms are useless. All right, they're they're not doing anything for the damage. Uh, of course, they benefit uh, with the plus life that they give. But let's just get rid of them. Doesn't even matter. Uh, they would matter if you had the holy fire on your main, but you don't in this build. And from what I've tested, it's it's just never worth having it. Uh, having it from the gear is the way to go. No, 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 no. Don't die, buddy. Poorly executed. Didn't take long. Jeez. Res are quite poor. 81 fire, 45 cold, 45 lightning, 45 poison. Mage Vest, Stone of Jordan, Arak, Bullcathos, Silk Weave, Maras, and Flickering Flame Helm. Along with the Torch and Annie. And of course the Flame Rift. Let's see what the ticks do to him. Mercenaries do a lot of damage. So let, let's let's swat him. Pretty impressive, I would say. Pretty damn impressive. Let's uh let's check the cows just real quick, like. So here I am on my way. Rakanishu. Got his little ass fried. And let's see how well this build roasts beef. Alright, is the real question to be asked here. How well does it fry them cow tails? So I'm going to make the cow level. Mercenary is quite useless. There's the king. I'm gonna whack his ass. Okay, not bad. Not horrible. Hit, hits. Look at how far away it, it it works all the way across the damn screen. Oh my god! Shit! This is amazing. It's got to be the best one yet. But again, I need to try this with a three socketed helm that has three fire facets in it. Because this pierces their fire res by 15%. Uh, the three to fire skills don't help me out at all here. Because I don't have any real fire skill active from my gear. Or from my uh, my skills. The gear, it's not it's not going to help the gear fire skill. You can tell that by taking the damn helm off. Because holy fire, of course, gives on weapon fire damage as well. So if that plus three to fire skills added to the holy fire aura from the gear, you definitely see an increase in your damage. But nothing. So it doesn't add to the aura. Uh, the pierce, however, works for any fire res that your character outputs, be it from uh, on-gear skills or off-gear skills. So you do benefit from that. So in terms of offense, you only benefit from the negative 15% enemy fire res with this helm. So what I would like to try is a three-socketed Tierra with uh, three perfect fire facets. So I'll have plus 15 to fire skill damage and negative 15 to enemy fire res. So it should be this whole build doing uh, potentially plus 15% more fire damage. And I'd love to see how well it roasts the cows and shit uh, with that. 
And uh, I am going to take quite a hit on my fire res because of the Sunder Charm. And without this helm, it's going to be quite difficult. But I might want to put it on my Mercenary so I'll still benefit from the aura. And still have that nice fire res. And uh, he doesn't really need Tal's helm anyway. He has Treachery along with Reaper's Toll with a, uh, his current build. So I think that would actually be a pretty nice setup. Uh, stay tuned for that video. I would like to test that out and uh, more videos regarding the Tesla den, Dragon den, all this other crap den, and uh, more sorcerer stuff and all that other thing. And uh, let me know if you guys can be playing Diablo 4. Uh, do you want to see some videos on Diablo 4? I know the community is quite divided on it. Uh, I am looking forward to playing it. Uh, I'm really... Uh, I'm up for a new game, alright? Because uh, I'm up for playing a new game. I think... Project Diablo 2 is probably the best way to play Diablo 2. Uh, I would like to do more live streams and maybe even videos on that in the future. But yeah, with Diablo 4 right around the corner. I am excited to play it. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing the Druid and I know it might not be uh, the best class. But uh, I'm curious to see what the end game is like for the Druid. And uh, like I said, just a new game sounds fun. Uh, not to say it's ever going to be able to take the place of Diablo 2 because it probably won't. Uh, I don't know what the longevity is going to be like with it. But I would like to try out making some videos with Diablo 4, see how well they do, see what the reception is, and uh, definitely live streaming it for uh, the course of which I'm playing. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.